going to cover the setup and operation of Dixon's pneumatic test pump, PTP, and electric test pump, ETP, along with the safe and proper hydrostatic test procedures. First, if the assembly requires both hydrostatic and electrical continuity testing, perform the electric continuity first. Based on the type of hose, use the appropriate RMA hose technical bulletin. Use the assembly working pressure with the stated multiplier from the RMA. The length of time is also stated in the RMA procedure. If no hydrostatic pressure exists for the hose to be tested, use 150%, one and a half to two times, the assembly working pressure and hold that for 15 minutes. It is very important to use extreme caution when testing an assembly. When used indoors, the pressure relief valve on the pump must be connected to a drain or a water collection tank. These pumps are designed to test rubber hose only. Only trained personnel should conduct hydrostatic testing. Use of safety glasses or shields for personnel conducting and witnessing the test. All personnel should be perpendicular to the test sample and at least 15 feet away. Place test sample in a protective enclosure when possible. Restrain both ends of the test sample to prevent hose whip in event of a failure. Only use water as a test fluid. The pump consists of the following. Water inlet connection, water shutoff valve, intermediate hose connection, pressure relief valve, air regulator, air supply shutoff valve, quarter inch industrial series air quick connect and liquid filled pressure gauge. Start by tightly installing test caps that are the correct pressure rating using the appropriate thread sealant on both ends of the assembly. Laying the assembly in a straight line and opening the bleed off valve at the end of the assembly. Connect the intermediate hose to the assembly and then to the pump. Connect the water and air supply. Making sure the pump is positioned at a 90 degree angle to the test sample. Elevate the end of the test sample and open the water inlet valve. When water starts coming out of the bleed off valve, then you must walk the hose to remove all air in the assembly. Lower the assembly back to the ground and close the bleed off valve. Secure the hose to the ground by placing sandbags a foot from each end. Mark the assembly to view movement. Turn the regulator knob counterclockwise to the fully closed position. Open the air supply valve. Turn the air regulator knob clockwise until desired test pressure is shown on the liquid filled gauge. Hold the test pressure to desired length of time and inspect the assembly for coupling movement and leaks on both ends of the assembly and open the bleed off valve. Turn off the air valve. Turn off the air regulator. Switch off the water inlet valve. Open the pressure relief valve. Disconnect the intermediate hose and fully drain the assembly. If you are using the ETP for the first time, you must remove the plumbing assembly as one complete section, as shown here. Expose the poppet valve inside the pump head. Push in on the valve in the head and push the second valve, as shown. Reinstall the assembly, snugging the garden hose connections and tightening the SAE fitting. The pump consists of a water inlet connection, water shutoff valve, pressure bleed off valve, pressure control knob, liquid filled pressure gauge and the on off power switch. Connect the intermediate hose to the pump, connect the water line. Connect the power supply. Connect the intermediate hose to the test sample and open the water supply valve. Fill and bleed the hose as previously shown. Open the bleed off valve on the pump to prime it for only a second. Then turn on the pump and turn the pressure knob clockwise until desired pressure is achieved. 
This could take a few minutes due to the low fill rate. Hold the pressure and check for coupling movement and leaks as previously shown. Turn the pump off and turn the pressure knob counterclockwise to the fully off position. Using caution, open the bleed off valve on the pump. Close the water supply valve. Bleed and drain the test sample as previously shown. This completes our video. If you would like more information on the ETP or the PTP, a copy of the manuals can be downloaded at DixonValve.com or refer to the Dixon Coupling Procedures Manual 4000-4001.